In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use this XY joystick with Arduino so we can move it to the left or right and detect it uh, forward and back in Y direction, or we can press it and detect the switch or any position in between. Then we are going to learn how to take action when the joystick is in a certain position, for example, on that side, the buzzer is turned on. Welcome to Arduino course by Robojax. This course is based on SunFounder 3-in-1 Arduino kit sold on Amazon. Everything that you learn in this course is included in this kit. The course comes with tons of components and projects, all with instruction and video for smart car and other projects that you can use for school or home automation. You can purchase it from sunfounder.com. The kit also comes with full documentation, code download, learning projects with full explanation, wiring diagram, and the code that you can download. The link to purchase the kit and documentation is below the video in the description. Welcome to Arduino course by Robojax. This is called XY joystick because if you see this is an X and this is an Y, internally, when you move it to X direction, we can detect the position. This is the middle. When you release it, it stops. And then also forward or back in Y direction. If I remove this handle, you will see that this, we have two potentiometer. One potentiometer is here with the axis here in between. When you move it left or right, you're actually rotating this potentiometer or variable resistor. When you're pushing it forward and back, this is connected to the other variable resistor in here. So this is being rotated like that. And then we have a push button. When you press it, it presses this push button. And we have pins here where you can detect the uh, push or motion of this joystick. So this is for learning purpose and also if you have a robot or a motor or something, for example, this could be for a speed of one motor and this could be for another motor and each uh, will cause a robot or a car to move. For example, you can move the car forward and back with this and with this moving it to the right and left, detect this and move the car to the left or right or whatever position you put it. And also you can have immediate stop by pushing it we can detect it. So this has these pens. That's ground, which is common for all of them, plus five. So we need ground and five volts. And then we have one resistor, VRX, and then VRY. And the last one is a switch. This variable resistor is 103. That three means three zero, 10 kilo ohm. And the other one is in the same way, 103, 10 kilo ohm. And here is a schematic for this XY joystick. We have VCC, which is 5 volts. This is connected to one potentiometer, and the same 5 volt is connected to another pot potentiometer. The ground is connected to the first potentiometer or variable resistor, to the second variable resistor, and it is connected to the switch. Now, the, both of these are connected in parallel. So the tip of this one is connected to VCC and the other one is also connected. And the other side is also connected. So these are in parallel. So this is 10 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm. In parallel, we are reading 5 kilo ohm. 5 kilo ohm, you see, between VCC and between ground. Let's check it. I'm using this KWIT KM601. I've done the full review. If you want to purchase it or watch the video, the link is below the video in the description. Now, if I connect my tips between ground and VCC, I should get 5 kilo ohm. You see, we are reading 4.7 or 4.5 kilo ohm. Let me press hold. So now it's hold 4.5 kilo ohm. So 4.5, 4 
because this is in parallel if you multiply it it will be nine kilo so this is about 10 percent tolerance so that's correct this switch is connected on one side the switch the other side is connected to uh, ground and here if you come to uh, sun founder uh, project page go to learning project number four toggle joystick this is 4.3 here is the wiring uh, picture ground is connected to ground vcc is connected to 5 volts and then rx is to analog 0 or y to analog 1 switch will be connected to pin 8 because we are using arduino we can program it that we don't need this resistor so i will not use the resistor and i will use pull up which i have explained it and here is the actual wiring diagram ground is connected to ground using black wire i will do the same thing vcc is connected to this point to pin 5 i'm going to connect it directly to pin 5 rx is connected to analog 0 using yellow uh, vry is connected using green to analog 1 and switch is connected to this point via resistor to pin 8 which i'm going to connect it directly to pin 8 because we don't need to use this resistor and here for the wiring i have set it exactly the same way as it's shown on the wiring diagram um, black is connected to ground red is connected to 5 volts yellow to analog 0 green to analog 1 and blue to pin 8 open our program by clicking on file open go to download sun founder 3 in 1 3 in 1 kit main learning project four point three toggle the joystick and click and open so here we have defined a constant integer x pin analog 0 y pin analog 1 and switch pin pin 8 inside the setup we have pin mode switch pin input and then digital write switch pin this says initially high that is where, where i'm going to change it just remove it input and then type here pull up so you do need a resistor and you do need to set it to high so it will be always high with pull up which i've explained it in previous lessons and then we initialize a serial monitor for analog pens we do need to define them they are already defined so we, for digital we just set as input or output because analog pens are uh, when you read analog they are always input and the serial monitor we put print this text because this is inside double quotation and using analog read x pen we are reading the x pen we are reading the x pen and we say serial print print the value whatever it is as decimal so this will print it as a number for us and which will be from 0 to 1023 remember we are reading uh, voltage so then we have y it also it says as a decimal and then here it says z i believe that we should have this as this w or switch when switch is pressed initially it's always one but when we press it it should be zero simple as that and then we have 500 millisecond delay now the code is ready let's upload it wait for this to complete and we'll see the confirmation here as well remember remember we don't need to have uh, after uploading the code we do need to have usb to computer connected we can just power it up via any usb or we can connect it via this adapter or from this vn pen you can connect up to 12 volts 
6 to 12 volts and it will operate. Okay, so the code has been uploaded. Let me open the serial monitor. And as you can see, it shows the value for X and the value for Y. The joystick is connected. You can see the values. First, let's test the switch. I'm just pressing it. And as you can see, we have zero. And these values are uh, between zero to 1023. So this is around 1500. That's halfway. And now let me just move it uh, in X direction. And let's see which one is X, which one is Y. Yes. So X is indeed X. As you can see, I went all the way to the right, and that's 1023. If I go to the left, it will be 0. So that was x. And let's go in y direction. So in y direction. So that is 0 on that side. And if I pull it toward my surf, it will be 1,023. So x on the right side was maximum. And y this way is the maximum. Now, you can have something in between, let's say, in this corner. So both of them are 0. Perhaps this corner will be 1,023. Yes, both of them. And in between, like, you see? Let me make it fast. 50. So this will be very fast, so it will respond faster. It will print like su super fast, yes. Now, as soon as I move it, you can see it's responding very quickly. Press. It detects any click that you make. Now we are going to learn how we can take action when the joystick is put in a certain position. Look, with, when it's at certain value, at certain position, here it doesn't happen. But when you move it to that location, it can turn the buzzer on. This is just a buzzer, but you can also connect this wire, this is ground, to an LED, to light, to a relay, to control a motor, whatever you want, you can take action. Or when it goes to the left, for example, one buzzer will be turned on, or a motor will rotate in one direction, move it to the right, it will be another direction. And for the joystick action, the joystick is not changed. I've only inserted uh, this buzzer, the same way that we did it in the other example, the long pin is on this side. And on the same side, the red pin is connected to pin 2. Exactly the same as our other lesson when we turn the buzzer. And then the brown is the, our ground, which is connected here to the ground. And here I've, I've written this code to take action for alarm. I've defined here a pin for buzzer, pin 2 like our previous examples. And then I've defined these three variables, x value, y value, and sw value. So these are holding the position of x, position of y, and the value of the switch. And then inside the setup, I have added this alarm pin for the output. This will be connected to our alarm, LED, buzzer, relay, whatever you want. And then I've written this function called read joystick. If I come here, that's at the bottom. When we call it, then it will read the X pen and store it or update this X value and it reads the Y pen, updates the variable. These two variables, the three, are defined at the top of the code and that is called global variable. Everywhere in the code you can read them. And then switch pen is also read in a SW value. Now, inside the loop, I have used this line to call the function. So w when the loop comes here, it goes and reads all the value and all these three variables will be holding the new value that is read when this line runs. 
So we have the value now in this line it says if x value is greater than 600 and y value is less than 300. So we are checking if it is if x is greater than 600 and y is less than 300 then we print uh, we set the alarm pin high so the buzzer will turn on and then we print the position of x and then the text so this is a text because it has double quotation and this is a variable this is a value this is a text again y with a space and column and then this is the actual y value you see we don't have ln ln because we want them in one line and this has ln so this will be one line of text and the rest is the same as before we are setting the this line is setting the buzzer pin or alarm pin low so it's not making buzz and then I have the same values from the code that was available to print the values and I have defined the delay 550 millisecond so it is quick. And here is the demonstration. Uh, the serial monitor is open. Here is my buzzer. Is the joystick. As if I move it, you can see the values here. I'm playing with my one hand. It is working. So one and zero is also for the switch. And here for the buzzer, it's somewhere. So that's alarm. Not here, not here, not here, only if it is here. So you see, y is 127, x is 1,023. So x is 790, so x is greater than 600, that is true. And y is 140, so less than 300. 